Hey guys, everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to show you the top 10 more tweaks for your iPhone 5, 4S, 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 5th and 4th Gen on iOS 6 with your newly jailbroken device from Evasion. So starting off here is Unfold. It's a very nice graphically wise, very simple tweak for iOS 6 that allows you to slide to unlock very differently. Basically the entire screen folds in, which looks very neat, and it works so well, so smoothly, that you'd think it would have come with iOS 6 itself. And it's basically free, that's the best part about it. You can adjust whether it folds vertically or horizontally. You can adjust the number of slides and even add your custom unlock text, which I did so here, as you can see, I did say slide to win, and it's very neat. You can customize it just how you like, and I gotta say it works so well, so fluidly, so definitely get this one absolutely free. And the camera feature does still work perfectly. Now here's iWidget, also free in the Cydia App Store. You just long press on the home screen and this comes up. Now there are two pre-packaged widgets, just calendar and the clock, and you can download many more free ones in the Cydia Store. But here's just Epic, just an example of something you can download. It's a clock and calendar mod. Basically a widget that does not come with iWidget that you can download separately. And here's a stock clock. You can move them around. Works perfectly. Have not seen a problem with this whatsoever. So it does work perfectly on iOS 6. Very useful and neat little tweak. Here's a really cool one called Aquaboard. It has been updated for iOS 6. It's compatible with Unfold, which I did show you earlier, and it just gives you this amazing animation on your lock screen, on your home screen, of water droplets rippling water. I gotta say, it's so much fun to play with. I could do it for hours. It's really cool when you slide your page along, and this animation does show. Of course, it is gonna drain your battery just a bit faster, but it is so awesome just to play around with and show off to some of your friends. I mean, in Android, most of the background live wallpaper you can't actually do anything with them. It's just a video playing in the background, but with this, you can actually play around with it, which is really neat. This does cost $2.99 in the City App Store. I think it's worth it. It is really cool. So definitely check that out. Here's Zephyr, a very fluid and easy way to multitask on your iPhone. Basically, if you slide left to right on the edges of your screen, you can swap between apps that are currently open. If you slide up, it closes the app, which is perfect for people with broken home buttons. Sliding down will reveal the notification center from the top down, which is a nice way to peek if you just want to check the weather. Sliding up from the home screen will reveal the multitasking bar. And I just gotta say, it works perfectly. Very well optimized for iOS 6. Have not seen any bugs whatsoever. It's just at $4.99. Most people won't be able to justify the price. So here's another awesome one called Springtimize 2. With Springtimize 2, you can modify every aspect of your iDevice, and I'm not kidding, every little thing from the lock screen animation when you close it, to the slide to unlock, to the app sizes, app icons, everything. And it's so thorough that I was just surprised. Definitely get this $2.99. I'm not going to go into everything, but you can do so much, including enabling capabilities that weren't originally on your iPhone. So if you have an older iPhone 4 or 3GS, you can install HDR or Panorama and a lot of other cool things. I'm not going to go into detail, but definitely get this and check out every little feature that is available on it. Very similar to Android is Stride, which allows you to put in a pattern based on lock code on any iDevice on the latest iOS 6 firmware. In settings, you can modify how strict the unlock code has to be, how similar it does have to be to the original, and you can of course change it. You do have to input it three times, but once it does get the gist of it, it basically puts it as your permanent password. And if you do this and you do have a password enabled, you'll have both unless you select otherwise right there to hide the password. So it's a really cool alternative to just putting in a passcode. Check out Stride in Cydia. This tweak folder enhancer does add functionality to the folder features in iOS 6. You can basically put folders inside of folders and add pages inside of folders. So that way you never have a limit to how many apps you can have. You can also put folders in the dock now. Basically just a cool little useful tweak, 249 in the Cydia app store. Here's banner borders, not completely updated for iOS 6, but still compatible. You can add borders to the notifications you get in iOS 6. As you can see here, I have lime green and make them round. Very straightforward, absolutely free. Check out banner borders in Cydia. I'm sure this one is fairly self-explanatory. Icon renamer, you just hold to wiggle the widgets, then press any widget you want, and you can rename it to whatever you choose. So I could just name this one apps then go on the Game Center and rename it to Games. Very, very simple, free, 
nothing else to it. Last week will be now now, which allows you to use Google search or the now functionality as a Siri replacement, or you can use it alongside Siri. So you can set it to whatever you like. You can hold the home button, double tap it or tap it three times to enable it. But it does pop up Google search, which then you can use just like Siri. I did not make it replace my Siri. I just made it so you tap the home button three times and it pops up very useful very nice also just a reminder with now now you do need to have google search installed from the app store and that's it 10 solid performing ios 6 tweaks compatible with any iphone or ipod on ios 6 hope you do enjoy the tweaks have a great day peace